Welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Denis Sasu Nguesso. Denis Sasu Nguesso of the Republic of Congo, that is Congo Brazzaville, has had the rare opportunity of serving as president for more than five terms altogether, first from 1979 to 1992 then from 1997 and still in office as of year 2020. Is it that the gods of political power have adopted him as their only begotten son and given him the right to rule? A closer look at his life will provide us with some answers. Sasu Nguesso was born in Edu to parents of the Mbochi tribe in northern Congo in 1943. He had his primary education in Fort Ruse, then his secondary education between 1956 and 1960 at Dolisie Normal College. The course of his life changed when he joined the army in 1960, as it formed the basis of the height he would later attain. He excelled as a young recruit and was sent for further training in Algeria. When he returned to Congo in 1962, he was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. He proceeded to France for further training and graduated as a lieutenant. He continued to rise up the ranks in the army, becoming a captain, then commander, and colonel in 1978. Nguesso rose all the way and finally in 1989 became a general. As was quite common in post-colonial Africa, the army was never far from the politics. Sasu Nguesso has been active in the politics of Congo as an army official. He participated in the military coup that brought in Mare Nguabi to power in 1968. He was also a founding member of the Congolese Party of Labour, PCT, which was founded in 1969. Ten years later, in 1979, he was chosen by the military committee of the party, CMP, to become president after Yombi Obango was forced out of power. From 1979 to 1991, he served three terms as president. From 1986 to 1987, he was the chairman of the Organization of African Unity, now African Union. As pressure began to mount for democracy to be introduced, he announced in 1990 that new political parties were permitted to function in the country. All the while, the only party was the ruling PCT. In February 1991, a national conference was held and somehow the opposition took control of the conference and succeeded in clamping down of Nguesso's powers. In the conference, which lasted till June, Andre Milongo was chosen as prime minister and was given executive power to take charge of the transition government as the country prepared for democratic elections the following year. Sasu Nguesso remained as a figurehead president. He was even prevented from traveling outside the country without the approval of the transition government. When the elections held in 1992, Nguesso finished third as the PCT candidate with only 17% of the vote. Pascal Lisuba of the Pan-African Union for Social Democracy, UPADS, emerged winner and became the first democratically elected president of Congo. Sasu Nguesso left the country for Paris, France in 1994 and was there for three years. You were very keen on... Let me stop by there. I'm, uh, I'm coming to bring some correct information about uh, this information uh, concerning Sasungesu's biography. Everything that uh, for this biography, it's uh, there is some uh, mistake on uh, the information that uh, been given on this uh, uh, video. First of all, Sasongeso 
were not born in Congo. Sasungeso was brought in Congo from his fisherman father in Congo, who after met a woman called Mwebara from the tribe, from the Mboshi tribe, who uh, the, then they married, they got married, and uh, this fisherman uh, Ngeso came with uh, Sasu Ngeso. So, Sasu is not from Congo. Sasu was brought and adopted from this woman called Mwebara from the tribe, from the Mboshi tribe, which we all today, we see what the, the, the action that Denis Sasu Ngeso have um, towards uh, Congolese people. The hatred that he has towards the Congolese uh, people. Sasu, uh, Sasu's birthday is unknown because when Sasu came in Congo, he was already uh, seven or eight years old in 1943. The date that the um, that they're giving us as his birthday. It's the date that Sasu have come, came in the Congo, have been brought by his fisherman father in Congo in 1943. By that time, Sasu was already, a, like I said, seven or eight years. So, so in, in our country, in Congo, country, we don't have any name that it's a Sasu Ngeso. Uh, there is no any family who has that name. The only people who has the name, the first people who has this name, it's a Sasu Ngeso. Sasu Ngeso is the one who brought this name in Congo. Today, people who has this name, it's uh, belong to Denis Sasu Ngeso family. There is no other family that has this the name Sasu Ngeso. That is was the first information, the truth information I wanted to correct from this uh, biography, by, from this video. Let's uh, continue. Coming to power once more, he returned to Congo in January 1997, intending to contest in the presidential election scheduled for later that year. In May 1997, violence broke out between Ngueso's militia supporters, known as the Cobras, and government forces. What began as a small disturbance soon went into a full-blown civil war. At first, the government forces seemed to have the advantage in the war, but by October, the advantage shifted to Ngueso's forces, no thanks to the support he got from Angola, who sent in troops into Congo. Soon, Ngueso took control of the entire country and declared himself president. He was sworn in on the 25th of October, 1997. Although the war continued to rage on, the new government forces controlled most of the territories. It was not until December 1999 that peace agreements were signed. In March 2002, fresh presidential elections were held and Ngueso won with almost 90% of the votes. Although the elections were peaceful, there were no serious oppositions as the former president, Pascal Lisuba, and another strong contender, Kolelas, were prevented from contesting. Ngueso, having served five terms in total as president, also had a second shot as chairman of the OAU from 2006 to 2007. He seemed to have special opportunities to have multiple shots at the highest leadership positions. Ngueso made international headlines in 2006 for very ridiculous reasons. In September of that year, he attended a United Nations General Assembly meeting with a large entourage 
which included several family members, which occupied 44 rooms at the prestigious Waldorf Astoria. The cost of their stay amounted to £130,000, besides other expenses like room service, which was about £14,000. The amount was more than £106,000 the country received from Britain as humanitarian aid that same year. His son, too, is not left out in the wasteful spending of public funds. In 2007, the British NGO Global Witness released documents on its website that revealed Dennis Crystal Sasu Ungueso may have used funds derived from the Congo State Oil Firm to purchase items worth $35,000 from designers such as Louis Vuitton and Roberto Cavalli. But since some animals are more equal than others, no serious steps were taken by the government to investigate, and Dennis Crystal remains very active in Congo's politics. Ngueso was yet again re-elected in July 2009, after the presidential election that was largely boycotted by the opposition. While the opposition criticized the entire election as not truly reflecting the will of the people, Ngueso hailed it as guaranteeing the continued peace and stability of the country. If there was a need to show proof of the addictive nature of power, Ngueso becomes a perfect example. Towards the end of his second and final seven-year term since the return to democracy in 2002, he announced in March 2015 that a referendum to change the 2002 constitution would hold so that he would be allowed to run for a third term. This proposal received the approval of voters, even though the turnout was quite low. The opposition called for the cancellation of the results because of the low turnout, but their cries were ignored. Sasu Ngueso's seven-year third term is expected to run till 2023. Time will tell if he will again find a way to stay in power. What have we missed out of this biography of Ngueso? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share. So, as you have heard, the mostly the old things about the doom, uh, about the Denis Asungeso's uh, biography or history you have heard from this uh, this video. Like I said, the correction that I was I wanted to give it was for his birthday, which we know. Denis Asungeso is not from Congo. He has been brought in Congo by his fisherman father who met the uh, wo uh, woman from the tribe, from the Mbushi tribe uh, called Mwebara, which even Denis Sasungeso have make, um, give the name of the plant Mwebara in French, which it consists to kill the Congo people uh, the Congo people. So, from all this one, from the uh, the, the the biography of the, uh, the Sasu or the history from Sasu, where is the democracy on Sasu's politics? Where is the democracy from Sasu's being in in uh, in the power for more than forty years? Sasu Ngeso becoming president for the first time by coup, by killing, assassinate uh, uh, Marian Gwabi in 1978, it's 1977, March 18, it was on March 18, 1977. And then he becoming a president, Jumbi Opango became president on uh, the, the year after. From that Denis Sasungeso himself came and then imposed himself to becoming a president on 1979. From that, Denis Sasungeso stayed in power for 10, for 10 years uh, after the Congolese, the Congo becoming um, a, a multi, they, they found it as a multi party. And Sasu, from that, the, um, 
Pascal Isuba been elected as the president of Congo in 1992. Like uh, in the said in the video, and uh, Sasu went in uh, uh, went in France to prepare himself to come back. So, which means Sasu been came back in power by another coup. Sasu never been elected by Congo by Congo people. Sasu always came in power by coup by killing uh, um, by killing uh, um, the the population Congolese population. After the, the he became by coup in nineteen in nineteen ninety seven. From that time to today. Denis Sassungesso still in power by killing, by assassinate all the opposing opponent that against his uh, politics. So today, I want to ask you people, where is the democracy or the, poli the democratic politics on the, the Denis Sassungesso? Um, uh, on 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 uh, on Denis Sassungesso, and then that is not even that is not it, because today Sassungesso being invited in the country that consider themselves as a democracy. We see lately how Denis Sassungesso being received by or invited by the by Biden president and then all the coup all the uh, the um, the genocide the crime that Denis Sassungesso have committed uh, uh, stays on uh, what can i say it haven't been punished and then Denis Sassungesso um, get the the help from French people. That's where Denis Sassungesso uh, get his the, the gun to kill uh, um, the, the Congolese population. So, where is the justice about all the crime that Denis Sassungesso have committed towards Congolese people? You guys have the answer. Today, if we, the, 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 the um, accusing Putin being a, uh, a dictator, what about Sasso? What about Kagame? What about uh, Ouattara? Give us the answer. Make and the comment, the put yourself in comment, and everybody has to know who's a dictator, who's a, uh, a murder, who's a criminal. Thank you to have give me this time to uh, to listen my video.